Just truckloads of cheddar biscuits, man. He is raking in so much money. Fuck. Mm. So for those of you who don't know who Leafy is here, is he is uh, he's one of a truckload uh, of YouTubers that's blown up in the last like six months to a year. Dude is ripping the views right now. The ripping and the tearing. The ripping and the tearing. Putting holes in people. Um, so I don't post much about the YouTube community stuff that goes on all the time, but I am an avid consumer of it all. So uh, Leafy's one of the big players right now, as well as Scars, obviously Keemstar, Philip DeFranco, all these guys. Shut up. Uh, I watch him all the time and... And I've always wanted to make a video about him, but I never really wanted to go through the hassle. And I know what you guys are gonna ask. I, it's, I don't know, it's entertainment, it's escapism, whatever the fuck it is, and I... I, just, I figure if I consume enough of it, I might as well just talk about it a little bit as well. Oh, that sounds great, Leon. I can't wait to hear what you have to say about it. Ah, uh, fuck you. Anyways, Leafy is here right now. No, he's not actually here in my office right now. That's just his fucking name. Right now has 4.3 million subscribers. Um, most of the videos, he makes multiple videos a week all the time. A lot of them consist uh, of somewhat controversial stuff. He like either roasts people or like reacts to certain videos that are pretty ridiculous. He swears all the time, blah, blah, blah. He's did a little research on his channel and he's only his videos going back two years, which uh, left me a little confused because I think he probably deleted a shitload of content older than two years because going to, if you go to Social Blade and look up some of his statistics, this motherfucker is doing like, look at this. So it's like flatline all the way through, but it's saying like even in July 2012, 13, he's still pulling in over 100K views a month. But Social Blade, I never really know with some of their like legacy statistics from back in the day, how accurate they are, whatever. But around July of last year, just more so in January 2016. I don't know exactly what it was. I was trying to look for the video, but just absolutely blew up. My guess is... Uh, got in some sort of beef or controversy with another big youtuber that drew a lot of attention to him So upon further investigation It looks like this saddest man on YouTube video is one of the ones that sparked his big push in January uh, Followed up shortly thereafter by the saddest man on the internet These two kind of beefed out for a little while and then got invited on drama alert where they were on drama alert Which is another huge channel and then they eventually made up on there and just kind of created this huge buzz And he's been on the exponential rise since then This is because some asshole on YouTube has used my video for the wrong fucking purpose. He's been mocking me, saying degrading stuff about me, laughing at me in my face on YouTube. Dude, what? I just made a satire video where I criticized you for yelling at a bunch of eight-year-olds and telling them to go die. That's it, bro. Holy shit. Oh, he is now working on... He, okay, just to put it in perspective, he got 111 uh, million views in the last 30 days. What you say? Are you fisting me with a pair of brass knuckles? That is so many views. What I love about this shit, this story, this kind of YouTube thing is that it's just this dude in his basement making like shit quality videos that are entertaining to massive amounts of people just making like doctor money, more than doctor money. Now the way I calculate essentially what people pull in uh, on YouTube and it's a super loose calculation, but I take an average CPM. Now if you don't know what a CPM means, it stands for cost per meal. It's essentially how you judge how much money people uh, make per thousand views. So per thousand views, uh, a conservative CPM would be about $1.50 to maybe $2, let's be played even more conservative. If you say for a thousand views, you make a dollar in ad revenue. So you're looking at $100 per 100K views. And just breaks down real simple math. Per million views, it's about $1,000. <laughs> this kid, who's a teenager, just editing videos about shit on YouTube, just raked in about 111K in the last 30 days. Uh, it is worth mentioning he is partnered with an MCN called Omnia Media, so they definitely take a portion of his income. I don't know, it's generally probably around anywhere from 15 to 30%, uh, but needless to say, he's not struggling to buy groceries. 
It's so fucking bizarre. I mean, the, the kid is is pulling in more views than major network television productions that are sinking millions of dollars into these bullshit shows. Let me remind you, this is only AdSense revenue we're talking about, which is the bottom. I mean, if he gets endorsements or sponsor deals, I mean, who knows the amount of free shit. I don't know if he's even doing that stuff because he's so he blew up so fast. But uh, just an insane story. And one of the controversies around his channel has been he is, you know, he's a fucking young dude. He's on YouTube. He's talking shit. He's part of the whole kind of drama uh, thing going on in the YouTube community right now that is so huge with, you know, FouseyTube, Keemstar, and all that bullshit. And a lot of people think it's, it's horseshit. But at the end of the day, this dude is caking stacks of fat fucking cash just running around pissing on $100 bills right now. I don't care if you like Leafy's here or not, the dude is now a business man. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Has the whole internet swinging from his nuts, so it's, uh... So the whole point of this video was to A, waste a couple minutes of your life and get a big fat fucking dislike underneath the video, and just to give you a little insight, if you didn't know who this was, or this kind of channel, or this whole YouTube community, uh, there are some people making some serious fucking coin doing this and I just think it's fun to stay abreast of this type of content. Listen, if we can get this to 45 likes, uh, I'm gonna rub toothpaste all over my navel and curl my nipple hairs with my wife's curling iron. So let's do it. Oh. 